that you that, 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 that his disciples were received as a result of hanging out with Jesus. As a result of hanging out, of dying, being washed, being pruned by the Lord, he said, the world will hate you. But what you going to do when the world hates you? When you love the world so much. When you love the practices of the world. When you love the habits of the world. No, we know how to have a good time. We just know how to have a good time in the church. Because there are some things you can't do in church that you can do in the world. And if you just let me do what I do in the world, in the church, then I, look, I'll be at church every Sunday. Shoot, you have church on, on Monday, I'll be there. If you let me do in the church what I do at the house or in the world. But I, the church has a standard that we've got to live by. And, the, and God said that we should love one another. And look at, look at chapter 16. He says you're going to hate the world. And then Jesus goes on and talks about the works of the Holy Spirit. He talks about the Father, the Son, and, and, and how the relationship between the Father and the Son are one. And then he brings or grasps us in as children or, or as his disciples. And then he talks about the work of the Holy Spirit who is working as a witness. Who is working as a witness of who who Jesus is. He is a witness. The Holy Spirit is a witness to the truth. Verse 16, verse, chapter 16, verse 1. Find it for us and, let, and let's read what it says. I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. Because times are going to get hard. And I'm telling you this, I'm telling you, all he said in chapter 15, I am the true vine. If you're going uh, to produce fruit, or if you're producing fruit, then remain in me. If you're producing fruit already, remain in me. If you want not producing fruit, and you want to produce fruit, remain in me. If you're producing fruit, and you want to produce more fruit, he said, remain in me. Then he said, the reason I'm reminding you to remain in me, because times are going to get hard. Times are going to get so hard, he said that I'm not even going to be able to stick around here with you. He doesn't say how, he doesn't say when, but he says, I've got to go. I've got to leave you. And listen, the disciples have been following Jesus up until this point, day after day, hour after hour, spending time with him. If you read the Bible, they taught him how to pray. He, he taught them how to pray. He, he showed them that, that by example that he got up early in the morning and went off to a secluded place by himself just to talk to the Father. And what he's trying to instill to his disciples is the same thing he's trying to instill in the church today that we've got to be in tune, connected to the Father. Amen. And he says the Holy Spirit's job, the Holy Spirit's job is to help us when it's time for us to fall away. Verse 15 says, I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. They said, they will put you out of the synagogue. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever accused you would think he is offering a service to God. Thinks that he served offering a service to God. And they will do these things because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you that when the hour comes, you may remember that I have told them to you. So Jesus is telling them, I'm telling you all these things. It's going to bring pain to your heart. It's going to bring sorrow to you. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. But don't worry, because when I'm gone, I, if I don't leave, you can't get the Holy Spirit. Amen. He says, I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you. I, he couldn't tell his disciples everything, because they had to learn from him. This, this is what we miss in scripture. That as Jesus goes, he's walking the shores of Galilee. After he comes from the, the uh, after he comes from the wilderness, he, he starts calling these, these 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 rebels, these boys, these fishermen, these tax collectors, these physicians, and he says, "Stop what you're doing and follow me. Stop what you're doing and follow me." Some of them told because they saw the Messiah. Then they went back and got somebody else. And when they got, came back and got somebody else, they got 
all his questions. He said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about all that. Just follow me. Not learn how to slay demons. That's what we want to do. We want to, we want to be a, a fighter, fighter, for, firefighter for God. We want to call down hellfire like Elijah. In the name of Jesus, boom! He says, learn of me. He didn't say, follow me, and I guarantee, I decree and I declare that you'll walk on water. He says, follow me. He says, learn of me. And what we miss, we miss Jesus. We come to church. We come to Bible study. We give our offering. We'll even shout and shed a tear every now and then, but we still miss Jesus. Look at what he says. Verse 6, chapter 16. He says, because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I go, oh, do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin, righteousness, and judgment. And look, look at what he says at the end of verse 15. Y'all go back to verse 15? Y'all there? He says, verse 15, chapter 15, No longer do I call you servant, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I call you a friend, for that I have heard from my father and have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed that you should go and bear fruit, that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, so that you will love one another. Amen. That we love one another. And we've got to be able to receive the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is the only thing that teaches how to love one another. The Holy Spirit is a witness of truth. Jesus is truth. Jesus says, when I leave, you're going to get the full details that I couldn't tell you. You don't understand for sure what the, the reason is, what the deal is. First of all, I, say, I have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. And see, that's what we're lacking in the church. We know God, we know Jesus, but the Holy Spirit is what solidifies when, when God the Father, when God the Son, and, and then the Holy Spirit ties it all together, it gives us our place and our position in the family. Amen. But if we can't receive the Holy Spirit, then we can't get with Jesus. Amen. And if we can't get with Jesus, we can't be in the presence of the Father. Amen. Come on, See, the Old Testament tells us that God was the one who led the children of Israel through the wilderness. And then in the New Testament, Jesus comes along and he's preaching and he's teaching. And the Bible says that the Holy Spirit was fulfilled in him. It was complete in him. Everywhere Jesus went, the Holy Ghost went. Everything Jesus did, the Holy Spirit was there. And now Jesus said that I've got to go. But when I go, the Comforter will come. And the Comforter's job is to give you what I couldn't give you. The Comforter's job is to tell you what I can't tell you. The comfort the job is to do what I can't do. We know Jesus did a whole lot of stuff. He fed 5,000. He, he raised the dead. He healed the sick. But there are some things that Jesus just could not do. It was the job of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. And in the New Testament, when Jesus uh, hung, bled, and died on the cross, he says, it is finished. Yeah, yeah. But the work still continues. The work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a witness to the truth. And Jesus is that truth. He says, I am the way. I am the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Can you be a witness on today? Can you be a witness to what it is you believe? The doors of the church are open. And now is your opportunity to be a witness. Now is your chance to join the family of believers, of witnesses, 
of just how good God is. 